Welcome to Flipped Classroom. Today's lesson is on the American Government Final Performance Task. The assignment is for you to evaluate the bias of the media in regards to gun legislation. You are to discuss the ways bias of media influences potential voters. To complete the assignment, you must understand some key terms. For example, evaluate the bias of the media in regards to gun legislation. Evaluate means to judge after exploring the whole issue. Is it good, bad, positive, negative, worthwhile, or wasteful? The word bias means liking one side better than the other, or favoritism. The other key words discuss the way bias of media influences potential voters. Discuss means write about the main ideas and problems. Media refers to the means of communication, such as TV, Internet, radio, newspaper, or magazines. To, be, to begin with, read and reflect on the article. Look at Source A. What does the Second Amendment say about gun legislation? For example, let's look at Source A. What does the Second Amendment say about gun legislation? Look at Source B. What is the cartoon's opinion? What clues let you know this opinion? How are gun owners and criminals portrayed? Look at Source C. The folks spraying are cities with bullets, not NRA, or legal gun owners. What inflammatory words are used? What point of view is presented? Look at Source D. Once again, what is the cartoonist opinion? What clues will let you know this opinion? What symbols are used? What do they represent? Source E. A Senate in the gun lobby crib. Look at the quote in the article. I think that fear must be nothing compared to the fear the first graders in Sandy Hook Elementary School felt as their lives ended in a hail of bullets. Which of those words are inflammatory? You will also have two sources from YouTube. Look at when this media clip was produced. What organization produced it? Again, what inflammatory words are used? And what parts are the most convincing? To get started, you might want to divide them into two categories. Look at the different sources, decide which ones do not support gun control and which ones do support gun legislation. Second, evaluate. Look at each individual source. For example, law. How credible is the source? The founding fathers had legitimate fear of the British not allowing them arms. Yes, that's credible. If the source is a cartoon, is it meant to be humorous and satirical? It relies on stereotypes, so maybe it's less credible. When you're getting ready to write, start with a thesis statement. For example, the bias of media in regards to gun control legislation has an effect on potential voters. When you start with your thesis statement, then you can develop your ideas. Here's a sample outline. After you start with your thesis, begin with your examples. Discuss source one. What's the message? What's the potential effect? Explain source two. Again, explain the message and the potential effect. You require to do this for five sources. In the conclusion paragraph, what will be the long-term effect on elections or laws in the USA if a biased media continues to produce these messages? The final step, read, evaluate, outlining. Now you've completed those, so write your answer. Best of luck on this assignment.